Goedenavond, Hardware Info en Intel. Mijn naam is Michiel en hierbij mijn vraag. Ontwikkelen en of tekenen jullie zelf de chipsets? Gebruiken jullie eventueel tools? En welke software gebruiken jullie daarvoor? En met software bedoel ik dan eerder het besturingssysteem. Draaien jullie Windows, Linux, een eventuele fork van Linux die specifiek voor jullie gebruikt wordt? Of nog iets anders? Alvast bedankt voor het antwoorden. Hi Michael, my name is Ted Burton. Uh, I am a principal engineer here in Oregon uh, for Intel. You asked a question about how we design chips, whether we use software tools, um, you know, what is it that, that you know, how, how does that process really work? Our computer software tools are really, really good for answering the questions that the human brain has come up with. The human brain has the intuition to ask the right questions uh, those questions around here are usually involving how good is something, how fast is it, how slow is it, how, you know, how high a power, uh, is it, is, did I build it right? And, and, and right is usually some, there's, there's an objective measure of correctness that that tool is going to answer. Um, but really, uh, it, it, it requires a human brain to ask that intuitive question to begin with. Thanks, Michael. Uh, hi, Michiel. Uh, my name is Sean Merkus. I'm a principal engineer at Intel, uh, located in uh, Oregon. I've been with the team for uh, uh, 17 years, uh, working mostly in CPU design, but recently in uh, more looking at the mobile technologies, the tablets and the phones and things that we've started to work on here. Uh, you asked a question about what kind of tools we use for designing our chips. Do we do things by hand? Do we have software that helps? And I kind of wanted to walk you through uh, the process and some of the major categories of tools. First, starting with the fact that the major tool, the most expensive tool, the tool that costs billions of dollars, is actually our factory. And so we want to make sure when we send something to the factory that we have done all of our homework ahead of time. And so really the classes of tools I'll walk you through would be sort of architectural tools, and then there is a logic tool set, and then you come to the circuits, the actual circuit tools, and then finally what would be the masks that are what you actually give to the factory. So what do I mean by architectural tools? These are really high level tools that allow um, our architects or our chip designers to decide what kind of feature do we want in the chip, uh, what kind of trade-offs do we want to make, and, and really model those in a way that you can try to figure out, does this de deliver high definition video? Can I take uh, 15 frames per second uh, of my kid playing soccer? There's a ton of tools that do those kind of things and they're really valuable uh, to set us off in the right direction. Once we figure out that, we move into this logic tool space. We write a huge piece of software to, to, to model the, the chip that we want to build. And if you think about the, the speeds that these run, these, these are in gigahertz range. That's, that's billions of operations per second. And uh, these logic tools allow you to zero in on any one billionth of a second uh, time slice and look at what's going on in the machine. And that's a great way to find where things are not working well, you've got a bug in there you need to work out, uh, and we use that, a whole different set of tools to sort of look at that problem. Once we're pretty sure that the logic is right, we move into designing the actual circuits behind them. And it used to be, uh, when I started, we did a lot of those by hand. Uh, we would work on drawing the circuits out, put them into the, the you know, pretty primitive software that captured those. Uh, nowadays, we can get to a point where uh, we can turn around multi-million transistor designs with all of the wires connecting all of that in under a day through completely automated tools. Uh, so it's really been a revolution in the last you know, 20, 30 years to watch some of these things develop. I guess the final thing that's interesting to talk about is when you look at uh, how do you take those transistors that you have and how do you actually manufacture them. Uh, and behind me, I've got a picture actually you can look at. This is actually the, what's called the layout or the masks that build the, uh, the chip. And you can see uh, at a high level, some pieces here are still built by people. You can tell because they look very organized and they're very thought through, whereas other areas look like a jumbled mass of wires. And that's exactly what they are. Those are the areas where the automated tool has done a, a lot of the work. And so that's kind of the tour through the, the different tool sets that we use. I hope I answered your question. Um, thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.